two brands of niche market running shoes have recently flooded the mainstream. Which ones are more comfortable, Hoka or On Cloud? Well, it's hard to say, but I still think. What do you like better, On or Hoka? Uh, Which do you like better, Hoka's or On? Which is more comfortable? Uh, I like These brands are On, often referred to as On Cloud, and Hoka. And if you haven't noticed these shoes around, it's because you haven't been paying attention. Open your eyes. But the question is, why are these two brands of shoes both so popular and which one is better? Just being a bit of a shoe detective here. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. My wife bought them for me, first of all, because I don't buy anything anymore. But um, she explained it to me that all the, all the dads had them. They're like... Uh... Both brands have gained traction amongst medical professionals. What do you think of your Hoka's? These are absolutely great for walking. I'm a nurse. And have garnered a reputation for superior comfort while walking, running, and yes, of course, being on your feet all day. I bet you could walk all day in shoes like that and not feel a thing. If you were to visit a local medical facility, you're likely to see an exorbitant amount of these two brands roaming about. What brands of shoes do you see most often in the hospital by uh, uh, medical employees? There's three brands of shoes. Uh, Dan's cones. I see them less and less though. Uh, Hoka's. Ons. And I guess there would be a fourth one. I see Brooks as well, but probably I see them these. Um, what brands of sneakers do you see most often in, in dental offices? Crocs. Skechers. Now, this is significant because many of the professionals in a medical facility have jobs that demand lots of time standing on your feet. 12 hour shifts, my feet feel wonderful. The impact is for walking is absolutely great. Now, if you take this into account, along with the fact their careers are intrinsically linked to the whole idea of health and wellness, well, it makes me think maybe there's something to this. At first glance, it seems Hoka and On have lots in common. No, 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 nothing's, you know, it's just it's not exactly the same to me, you know. Being founded in 2009 and 2010, respectively, and both companies have founding roots in Europe. Hoka was founded in France, although it took up headquarters in California, and On was founded in Switzerland. Both companies gained traction in niche markets such as ultra marathoning triathlons and other forms of endurance sports while recently experiencing a boost in popularity. This boost in popularity comes as a result of each brand having a reputation for being more lightweight and comfortable. And now for the biggest and maybe most important similarity, price. Both brands are relatively expensive and are not going to be had for under about $100 and you're more likely to pay about $150. That's insane. Well, that's what they cost. Now, I've heard rumors of Hoka being found in discount stores like TJ Maxx and Ross. Well, first of all, we don't buy anything full price. <laughs> we just go, we always go to like Nordstrom Rack or something like that and get them on sale. That's just the way we roll. And as a matter of fact, my mom was fortunate enough to find a pair of Hoka's and Ross, but this is gonna be the exception and not the rule. So I wouldn't count on that. And as for on, I haven't heard stories of On yet falling into these same discount circles. We gotta talk about looks. Both of these shoes are somewhat unique looking, although I gotta admit, the looks have grown on me as a result of seeing them around so much, but certainly at some point we've all had the thought, you wouldn't wear such a funny looking shoe without some type of functional benefit. Those must be comfortable shoes. And as a result of this, I think the unique looks of each brand of shoe, Hoka with its oversized sole and On with their loop-de-loop -loop cloud tech technology that was supposedly based on a garden hose, yeah. I think it really just adds to each shoe's lore and contributes to that reputation of being more comfortable.
In my opinion, the similarities in there and the experience of wearing these two brands of shoes is actually quite different. It's a tough call. They're so different. There's definitely one brand that I like better than the other, and that's for a definitive reason, but we'll get to that in a few. I also feel that the popularity of these two brands represents a change in the cultural landscape when it comes to sneakers. It's like old man shoes and all of the concepts surrounding old man shoes have become popular again. It's just cloaked in the veil of endurance sports. So things such as cushion, comfort, durability, and functionality has taken precedence over aesthetics and name brand. Or has it? Or could it just be that the reason for attaching to the name brand has changed? I don't think that this shift in paradigm makes us immune to marketing or brand identity. In other words, we could still just be buying an idea, an idea of comfort, as opposed to shoes that are actually more comfortable. As a result, in my experimentation, the goal was to try to look beyond the hype and for me to also try to get past my own personal bias. And the first question I sought to answer is, are both Hoka's and On generally more comfortable than the average pair of athletic running shoes? And as expected, I pounded both of these pairs of shoes while occasionally mixing in a pair of Nike or Adidas for comparison. I mean, I walked. I ran. I worked out and I participated in a host of other life activities while wearing both on cloud and Hoka shoes. Okay, so here I am, you know, I'm putting both of these two brands of shoes to the test. And the one thing that I can say right off the top is they feel very different. One shoe is much firmer than the other, which is definitely swaying my preference a little bit. But anyway, we're really gonna take it to the streets. Let's go do it. I tried my best to tune out the noise and pay specific attention to the mind-body connection, especially when it came to the way that my feet felt. To answer the question, yes. I feel that both brands of shoes offer something unique in terms of comfort in comparison to most other brands of shoes. Do I think this difference is revolutionary? No, not in either case. They're gym shoes and they feel like gym shoes, albeit very comfortable gym shoes. However, this difference in comfort is a bit more than subtle. It's apparent and becomes even more apparent as both steps and time on your feet begin to accumulate. And as for which brand of shoes do I like better and why? Creating videos is one of the best ways to get your message heard. One of the best ways also to reach new audiences. So if you have a product or a business or a brand and you're in need of video, I'm super excited to announce the launch of my production company, C1 Vision Video Productions. And my website can be found at c1visionvideo.com. Please reach out to me. We'll put our heads together and we'll create something memorable. So when it comes to the important questions in life, who better for a guy to ask than his mom? And so I know you've tried both Hoka and on running shoes. Which do you like better and why? You have Hoka's and you own a pair of on cloud <laughs> yeah again my wife had to keep me cool which ones are more comfortable hoka or on cloud well it's hard to say now well son to be perfectly honest with you i like hoka better than i do on cloud <laughs> uh, but yeah, the on clouds are the cooler ones. Like apparently, you know, when my 25 year old daughter saw that I had on clouds, you're like, oh man, you got on clouds. So I think they're the cooler ones, but I think Hoka's are the more comfortable ones. Which do you like better, Hoka's or On? Which is more comfortable? Uh, I like the On's better. What do you like better, On or Hoka? Uh, on for me. I can think of several occasions in which I was wearing my Hoka's because towards the middle of 10 or 12 hours of working, my ankles would really be hurting. But I find that I can wear the odds or there's a tower, 12 hours, 24 hours shift. But it feels more like you're walking on the clock.
cloud and it's really comfortable. So uh, I would say I like the odds better. And I think they're aesthetically a little nice looking too. First, it's important to point out there's lots of different styles of both Hoka's and on cloud running shoes. And not every variation is gonna feel exactly the same, nor is created equally. But I think there's enough design and product consistency that this conversation has value and is worth having. In other words, on clouds feel like on clouds and Hoka's feel like Hoka's. I like on clouds better because I feel that they have more cushion and provide a softer landing for my foot. I like the way the Hoka's feel also, but the shoe feels more molded and less cushiony. Yes, the Hoka's feel less soft in my opinion, but that molded feeling feels really ergonomically well done and still provided a smooth yet not as soft landing for my foot. And I can totally see how some may prefer the firmer, more molded shoe sole that Hoka offers in comparison to the On Clouds, especially while running. But as for me, I like the softer cushion feel of the On Clouds better, and I felt that On made walking, standing, and running just a little bit more pleasant. But I really did like the Hoka's a lot too. I really hope that you found this helpful. Thanks a bunch for watching. Until the next one, fitness and beer.